Yo, what's up everybody? It's David Brodeur, aka Brilly, and today I'm going to show you how to get the most control out of two lines using Octane 2 materials. So while we're working, let's just take a look at some of the basic things that make up this scene. So right now, I'm really using just this one simple material. I have another material for just the background and give a little bit of contrast here. But this is the main material that you can see that's being used on the entire robot uh, object here. And if I open up the node editor, you can see it looks a little bit more complex. Really, these are basically just duplicates of each other. I'm going to break down what I'm doing to actually create this effect, though, here in just a moment. So let's close out of this window. And I'll also show you that I am in also including here a tune directional light. All right, that's really simple to put in here. Today, I really just want to focus mostly on the actual material itself and making the lines a little bit more unique, having a little bit more illustrative quality to them and kind of dialing that in. All right, so if I were to just make a, another material here and I will come in and I'll go to the Create and Octane 2 material, add that to my scene. And if I add that onto my robot, let's just take a look at the kind of overall differences here. So inside this two material, we've got some really basic things and some pretty minimal things that you look at and say, hey, we have control over. And so typically to get those outlines, what we would be doing is we would use the outline thickness here inside the tune tab. And you can see as I increase this or decrease, it's going to add kind of an edge to that here, right? But it does kind of fill up the entire space a little bit. You might be able to start to dial it in. And that's how I always kind of treat it in the past was just like, see how minimal I could dial it in so I could get a hold of these edges in here, but not take too much of the overall faces up of the, the object or material. And so what we're going to do today, though, is we're actually going to turn the outline thickness completely off. Now I'm going to jump into the node editor. And what we're going to do is we are going to use a dirt node. So I'm going to come in here and add a dirt node. And the dirt node is going to be how we're going to start to control the edges and we're going to use two dirt nodes for this so i'm just going to throw this into the diffuse for now and let's just focus on one so you might want to come in here and increase the strength and you'll start to see that it's starting to highlight a little bit more of those edges i mean honestly that's exactly what we're looking for depending on you know your, your object that you're creating you might need to dial in some of these radius a little bit more or less or something like that um you might increase or decrease the strength more or less i think the max is 10 um, and you can begin to mess with tolerance. And again, all this stuff is going to have a large effect depending on the actual object that you're kind of designing for. But like right there, plain and simple, that's getting us a lot of the little kind of corners and inside edges, like those really compact spots in here, but it's not getting those front edges. And that's also kind of the problem here with the outline thickness, right? it begins to get hard to get those front facing edges. So I'm going to turn that back off. And what we're going to do is I'm going to get a multiply node here. So let's just hop into our, our nodes and I'm going to get a multiply node and place that in. And basically I'm just going to take the same dirt node and I'm going to control click and drag it. I'm just going to, I'm not going to plug it into the multiply yet. I'm going to overwrite this and kind of push this to the side here. And let's just focus on this second dirt node here for a moment. And so this one, what we're going to do is we're going to say invert normal. And so now you can see we're going to start getting that front face edge here. Now, again, you're going to want to, you know, start to kind of dial this in a little bit more. Um, and you can see that it is filling in like these other areas, which I don't really want. Right. I don't want to have this dark black space here on the geometry. And so right now it's including um, the include objects mode here is set to all. If I change this to self, you can see now it's not looking at the other objects around to also create in that dirt node space. Okay. So it's only going to focus on an individual object and not other objects in contact with it. So that's exactly what I want for this front face edge that we're now capturing in here. And once again, you know, come in here and you can play with the overall radius that you want, dial that in, get it as wide or as sharp as you need. And now I'll plug this into the multiply node and bring that multiply node back into the diffuse. And now you can see we have a really kind of nice overall outline that we definitely were not going to be able to get if we simply just came into the tune and began to try to 
increase the outline right totally different look now if you want obviously you can use both right if you're like hey i like the look of adding kind of both in well cool great but now you have a lot more control here i'm going to turn that back off now you have a lot more control using dirt nodes and a multiply node here to get a kind of inside the edge and the uh, outside edge facing the camera okay so perfect but there's more that we can do here and i was playing around and testing some stuff because although this is this is nice it is leaving us with kind of this really kind of clean edge here right and maybe we don't want that maybe we want something again that has like a little bit more of an illustrative style something that maybe we get from like charcoal or something like that okay and so we can do something similar here and so what we're going to do is i'm instead i'm going to use um some octane noise and so let's scroll down in here here's my octane noise i'm going to drag and drop that into the scene because we're going to start breaking this up here in just a moment okay so now what we'll do is we'll come into our node editor here and we'll take this noise and we're going to also need to bring this on up and we're also going to need an add node so let's put this add node in here and i'm going to have this multiply instead be plugged into texture two and we'll have our noise plugged into texture one i'm just going to give these nodes just a little bit of space here so they're not kind of intersecting and just kind of try to keep it nice and organized so you can see it while we're working here excellent so we've got our noise now ch uh, channeled into this um, and we need to start dialing in that noise material again this is going to be very specific to exactly what you're doing here um, but i'm going to increase the contrast play around with this stuff if i pop back into a kind of a view here that we can zoom in just a little bit more on you can see how it's now breaking up that edge a little bit which is exactly what we're looking for try to make it so it's not something that's just super super clean soft edge so increasing that contrast significantly let's keep going you can see that now we've broken up that line altogether. now you can really just start playing with the noise you could have done an image texture node or something like that if you had an image texture and you liked how it broke up the line or you can kind of keep messing with you know the contrast and some noise in general here so a lot of different ways to go about it let's kind of increase our overall octaves here let me just expand this out and we're going to do the same thing uh, and increase the kind of omega and you'll see now we're going to get a little bit more detail now i do want to change the projection of this because you can see it's getting stretched in certain areas so i'm going to right click this and say add to selected and let's add a projection node to the noise and I'm just going to change it from SUV to box. And that's why it's something that's nice and squared. Now you can see that it looks like we've got kind of like a charcoal pen line that is creating that outline stroke. So now you've got something that's like a lot more illustrative in style and look. And there you go. That's probably my favorite way of getting more interesting tune shading lines out from the Octane 2, two material. So there's actually a lot of stuff you can do with this. And I'm going to be having a lot more demos uh, in the next couple weeks here, showing you more and more of how you can get better control over Octane 2 materials, shading, lines, lighting, and animation.